This makes you dangerous. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. Holy Ghost of God in the earth today. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today. And you God walk with him by today. saying words. My name is Andrew Helmstraut. Thank you for joining God us. If this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. If this is isn't your first time father, here and these messages Jesus are blessing right you, then consider becoming a partner with us. Mark chapter 9, verse 23. And Jesus said unto him, If thou canst believe, all things are possible to him that believes. Say, all things are possible to him that believes. Is this true or not true? And I'm not going to baby you tonight. We have places to go and things to do. All things are possible to him that believes. If you're a believer, you have to say, that's true. Jesus said it. There's a category of things that in my estimation jesus ought not to have said because someone is going to believe it and this is just one of many things i'm not going to cover it tonight i'll probably do that in a future message things that jesus frankly shouldn't have said because someone is going to believe it this is one all things are possible to him that believes so you have to ask yourself what are the things that he believes that makes all things possible right mark 11 verse 22 says and jesus answering saith unto them have faith in god and my margin says have the faith of god or the god kind of faith verse 23 for verily i say unto you again jesus here for verily I say unto you that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, and be thou cast into the sea, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe. Say, shall believe. See, here we're talking about all things are possible to him that believes. But shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass, he shall have whatsoever he saith so what is this whosoever believing and don't get it wrong because most faith preachers get it wrong most faith preachers say you have to believe the thing that you want comes to pass that the thing comes to pass no it says here but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass so this man is believing the things he says comes to pass he's believing the words that go out of his mouth go forth and do the things he says and they come to pass not that the thing comes to pass but the words he says shall come to pass it's a huge difference than believing a thing will come to pass or believing the words you say come to pass you are hardwired listen you are hardwired to believe the words you say come to pass in fact that's how you're like God you were created in God's image he said things and they came to pass then he made you now you that you say things and those things that you say come to pass now does the Holy Ghost believe the words he says comes to pass yes right in fact right here in verse 22 Jesus said have the faith of God or have the God kind of faith and then he went on to say that whosoever shall say doubt not his heart believe the things he says come to pass will have whatsoever he says he says that's how God-like faith works well the Holy Ghost is God and this is how the Holy Ghost's faith works he says things say he says things and those things come to pass the things he said right the God kind of faith so does the Holy Ghost believe the things 
he says comes to pass isaiah 55 verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth this is god talking so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return unto me void but it shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it it shall accomplish it shall prosper what what is it that does those things his word spoken say his word spoken so the holy ghost says words and believes that they will come to pass they will accomplish they will prosper this is the god kind of faith are you here and then jesus said whosoever would do this kind of faith would have whatsoever he says so in this instance what is he god believing that his word won't return void what do you mean return he sent it out and it won't come back without accomplishing the thing that he sent it to accomplish right so he's believing say believing that the words he says comes to pass he's not believing that the thing comes to pass he's believing the words it shall accomplish it will not return void it will prosper in the thing whereunto he sent it i hope i'm getting this across so he's believing the words that he says will come to pass and he has whatsoever he says say he has whatsoever he says now second corinthians chapter 4 and verse 13 says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written what do you mean according as it is written so your faith will be as it is written say my faith will be as it is written according as it is written i believed and therefore have i spoken we also believe and therefore speak we believe and speak we believe and speak that's the same spirit of faith according as it is written so if there's a something written we believe it and speak it and believe that that thing comes to pass according as it is written how do we get it written holy ghost spoke it first having having the same spirit of faith we have it having according as it is written say i'm having according as it is written how are you going to have according as it is written believing and speaking believing and speaking so when you speak according as it is written are you still here stay up with me as you speak according as it is written you believe they come to pass we believe and speak what are we believing and speaking yes i'm believing the word you're believing and speaking that the words you say come to pass that's what you're believing are you here well i'm gonna help you out tonight aren't you glad you came let's say that you find yourself stagnant in your confession and just about everybody at some point in time will find themselves in that situation confessing the word confessing the word confessing the word seems like nothing's coming to pass seems like there's a roadblock now the number one thing i would say is you have too many confessions you need to narrow it down to one or two or a few things that are highly relevant to you in your situation and speak those things and believe those things come to pass right but if you find yourself stagnant in your saying of the word that's what i mean by confession use these words i believe because remember we believe and therefore speak 
we believe and therefore speak and what do we what do we believe when we speak that those words we're saying come to pass right so use the words i believe say i believe use the words i believe because the words i believe helps thou your unbelief deuteronomy 8 18 says for it is god that gives me power to get wealth now as an example i will say i believe it is god that gives me power to get wealth therefore i'm believing and speaking i'm believing and speaking i believe god gives me power to get wealth why are you stressing this so much because belief is required it's not just confession it's believing that what you say comes to pass you must have belief no belief no benefit can you see this hebrews 4 verse 2 says for unto us was the gospel preached as well as unto them but the word preached did not profit them not being mixed with faith in them that heard it or not being mixed with belief in those that heard it you believe and speak you believe and say and then you believe the things you say come to pass does this make sense belief is required and if you're falling off on the belief part that's why I say use the words I believe and then say your scripture I believe the words I say out my mouth come to pass in my life did you hear that I believe the words I say out my mouth come to pass in my life scripturally better I believe that the words he has said that I say come to pass I believe are you getting this I believe the words he has said that I say come to pass this makes you dangerous it takes you out and away from everyone else the way they've thought and the way they do things but you are called to go someplace where you've never been before and to experience something that you've never experienced before be this be dangerous this makes you dangerous to regular society status quo when you go here you move the bell curve forward which has the tendency of leaving people that are not going on behind and lower i believe god gives me power to get wealth when i begin to access this power that gets wealth makes you dangerous you've moved into a god-based economy you've become uncontrolled and uncontrollable by the powers that be dangerous suppose i get my healing from the word of god in my mouth i believe he sent his word and healed me and delivered me from my destructions if i get my healing from god i'm not required to get my healing from a government health care system i become uncontrollable dangerous this is an altered life no longer controllable but free i move the overton window the overton window is a range of things that are acceptable acceptable at a given point in time in a society or in the church those things are acceptable but we've moved that we're moving listen we're moving it ahead 
to where things that are acceptable to us remember the good acceptable and perfect now they're acceptable to us and those things are no longer acceptable the old things we've moved the window forward I hope you can hear this they think I'm unacceptable yet here I am I believe something they don't believe I worship the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and walk with him by saying words by speaking in agreement with his words we are moving the Overton window from unacceptable to this is what's acceptable this is not business as usual this is not ministry as usual this is a great day to be alive challenging yes but you don't want it any other way get these things working for you get them working for you in your life first Thessalonians chapter 1 verse 9 and how you turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God idols literally means things that don't speak you've turned from something that didn't speak to serve the true and living God we walk with God the Holy Ghost by serving him by saying and speaking in agreement with his word let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you that the blessing of this message has come upon the people that have heard and their life is being changed and thus says the Spirit Lord it shall be changed according to the words that you say out of your mouth those that are in agreement with me shall surely come to pass and those that are in agreement with the world shall surely fall aside thank you Holy Ghost for it in Jesus name amen if you have a tithe or an offering hold it in your hand say this after me Holy Ghost I worship you your word is true I believe that those things which you said shall come to pass I am blessed I am prospering I am healed in every area of my life going forward and acceptable in Jesus name amen the father is in heaven Jesus at his right hand Holy Ghost your God and